Well, the MTA could lose $1.5 billion after a state court ruled yesterday that its payroll tax was unconstitutional. As News 12's Robert Wolf tells us, local politicians who work to overturn it now want to see the money taken over the years to be refunded. It was called everything from a mobility tax to a bailout tax to a vampire tax. But now the MTA payroll tax has been declared unconstitutional. Yesterday, we had our day in court and they ruled that this tax was wrongly instituted. And the day after that court ruling, Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino, joined by State Senator Greg Ball, Assemblyman Bob Castelli, and others, came to Yorktown for something of a victory lap Thursday. Westchester County joined a lawsuit with the purpose of throwing the tax out. It was approved back in 2009 and affected employers in the 12 county MTA region. All businesses within those counties were required to pay 34 cents for every $100 of payroll. It was designed to bail out the MTA from a $1.8 billion budget gap, but was seen as a burden on business, especially in tough economic times. The county executive says the MTA needs shoring up, but not with a payroll tax. Money's Assemblyman Castelli believes should be refunded. The MTA needs the money. There's no question. We don't want fares to go up, but it's got to be done the right way. That's very, very important, and they did not do it the right way. And it has had a tremendous burden. Since the thing is determined to be unconstitutional, if that is the case, then there's no reason why in a class action suit we could not sue to get a refund. For its part, the MTA says it is going to vigorously appeal this ruling. We're in Yorktown. Robert Wolf, News 12.